Well, I'm back here at Lake Macquarie, the classic boat association boat shed at Rath Mines, to follow the progress of Steve's build of a ptarmigan. The ptarmigan is 17 feet long and designed by Solway Fisher. And Steve and the guys from the boat shed have been building her for the last 10 months. And where are we up to? Hanging these, carlins, half deck frame. Heads and seats, four deck, bowsprit, grip, all little bits and pieces, but not. Gets under it. Okay. We're starting on the cabin roof frames. We have a lot of more done. Yeah. And this is just a mock-up to see how much room is going to be in the cabin. It's going to be quite good, I think. Uh, it's it's going to be big enough for a dinner party, and I'm expecting an invite <laughs> to the first one. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Bob's here, the retired shipwright, and he's been working on the corner posts for the cabin. Tell me about the uh, the corner posts. Well, we decided to put in like solid timber ones rather than plywood because we, umming and ahhing whether we'll varnish the cabin sides. So yeah. uh, if we'd done, if we hadn't done these, there would have been end grain ply showing, which is not. Yeah, not good enough for no. what we want to do. So show us, show us all the angles at the but bottom. There's, there's angles. My goodness. Uh, and then Steve made the radius on the inside, so it's yeah, beautiful. Pretty, pretty. So it's a little bit more shaping to do. And they, these are just rebates for the plywood to go, and you can see on the other side we just yeah, yeah. knocked them up. Yeah, so it's just a bit of work in them, but getting your head around it. Once you get your head around it, it's comparatively easy. Well, you've done so much. Yeah. And that's the mock-up of the, the cabin, you know, yeah. the height of the cabin back aft. This is the height of the cabin up forward. Yeah. With a bit of um, string across it. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, nothing's really square on a boat. It's all curves. And the ptarmigan's built out of 19 sheets of ply. The floor in the cockpit. All the way through, actually, it's, it's double hulled. Right. It starts so 9mm ply and then another sheet of 9mm ply over the whole bottom of it. So it's 18 mil thick. Wow. And then fiberglass with 400 GSM double by, which wasn't in the plans, but a little bit of extra strength never hurts. <laughs> That's substantial. <laughs> We're making good progress. Getting a bit of structure in it now. It's starting to fill it out. Yeah. See what it's going to look like. Yeah. Now, if, if you've never built a boat before, and most people haven't, how hard is it? I mean, the plans are there, but, but do you vary from the plans at all? I have varied from the plans. I've designed some parts of it myself. Yeah. For argument's sake, it's, um, it had a flat deck. Right. With the camera, so it's got a curved deck. We put a, a four foot under the bow, get it on and off the trailer easier. Yeah, yeah. Um, curved roof on the cabin. Yeah. As opposed to slope side. Yeah. Um, most of the rest of it's as is. Yeah. yeah. So when you look at the plans, how, how, how do you read these plans? Well, this is as originally drawn as a cat. Right. But it's got all your lines, it's got offsets for all your main frames. These parts are all numbered. It's in a matter of just looking down here to see what's what. Gives you your dimensions what it is and sort of brief and what to do with it. Yeah. Um, there are, he has a book, I believe, available. Most designers do have a book available. Yeah. So you get a lot more information from them. Outfit has a very good book, which I've used. Yeah. Um, this is my second build, so I'm not really referring to plans a lot, just dimensions, really. And, and, and how much epoxy do you think you've gone through? <laughs> So far, Steve's used 27 litres at a cost of about $1,100, and he reckons he could have saved a bit by ordering it in larger quantities. This is not cheap junk. Epoxy. I use bad type. It's good stuff. With hopefully only another three months of the build left, Steve's beginning to think about sales and a trailer. Over in the other shed, the guys are machining strips for a strip plank canoe. What are you building here? This is a uh, Megan Outra design, a uh, Guillemont, about 12 foot long. It's uh, designed after the lines of a uh, 19th century ship's boat. 
and that's exactly what we need because we're building it for Newcastle's William IV 1830s paddle steamer replica. It'll be hung off the stern of William IV. Right. It'll seat four. Uh, it's a sailing version. We're building the sailing version. It'll have a lug sail. So it's uh, and we'll paint it in uh, traditional style. So it'll and uh, it should look very nice hung off the stern of uh, William IV. The guys are not only building a full-size guillemot, they've built a half hull, and now they're building a strip plank model. Have it lined up with your gain there. Mm -hmm. Right? Gain there. Clamp that on there. Hold that on your gain and clamp it. Hold that on your gain and clamp it, then mark it as well. We got into the radio controlled yachting things and it's almost like in the, the days where you see the 16, 18 footers and they have three rigs which also fit. So these radio controlled yachts were at that level of finesse. So if you've always had an interest in timber boats and wondered what it was like to build one, why not come down to the Classic Boat Association boat shed at Rathmines? There's always heaps of interesting stuff going on. Thanks for watching Sailing Kate Louise and I'll see you on the water somewhere next time.